This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Tequarium returns to CES 2020 to bring you the best in mobile technology and innovation. While we share our experience with you, we would like you to share your thoughts on these techs in your comments down below. Hey, sir, my name is Ed. I'm from Washington, D.C. YouTube uh, channel called Tequarium. Our YouTubers would like to know anything you can tell us about the Mate X, specifically as it relates to the foldable screen technology. Sure, yeah. So um, basically, this is a Falcon Wing design by Huawei. Um, it is a foldable OLED display. Um, so basically, folds in the back, clips in the back. And then when you flip it over, it has a press and release mechanism in the back as well. So one of the um, features is really the camera. And when we open up the camera, when you fold the screen, it gives you a few different options. One of those is to be able to do what's called mirroring. And that sounded just about familiar. We've seen it before as foldables and as concepts with hinges. I won't speculate here about who did it first, but the idea is right. The idea of app scalability and adaptiveness to extend it for dual screen gadgets will be adopted by many and now with 5G capability as well. But back to Mate 10 by Huawei, which does it quite smoothly. Unlike Samsung, it has an even sized rear panels with the camera modules and sensors located in the upper left hand side of the right hand dominant panel. It simply means that if you are looking at the screen while it's fully open, the camera is closer to your right hand. It is possible that the camera module made by Leica is so pronounced because of its sophistication and hence the difference in the size of the two screens. From what we noticed, the photos are superb. Also, while there is a not for sale print in the back of the gadget, it feels solid as if it wasn't one of the first few prototypes ever created and it means that Huawei has put some time into this. The transitions from single to dual screen mode and backwards are very smooth. As you can visualize, there is hardly any delay. There is more to come from Huawei as there is to come from Tequarium. Stay tuned and I will see you in my next video very shortly.